Today I got an Asus Tough 506 gaming laptop. I'm going to upgrade the NVMe SSD to a larger capacity. I'll show you how to do it. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got a Asus Tough gaming laptop, 15.6 inch, nice little laptop, but he's lacking in storage. Uh, it's got a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD in it. I'm going to increase that to a one terabyte. I'm putting in a Samsung SSD 980, good drives. I use them quite a bit. Samsung, Western Digital, Crucial are kind of my favorites here, um, but there are other ones, of course. So this is the drive right here. I've already took the liberty and installed a thermal pad, copper heat sink with some bands to hold it in place. So help spread out and dissipate some of that heat, hopefully. And I'm gonna use, what I'm gonna do I'm not going to do a clean install. He doesn't want to have to reinstall all of his games and stuff, so I'm just going to do a clone. I got lots of videos on cloning, but I thought I'd show you how to use the free Samsung data migration software. I've already got it installed on the laptop right here, and I'll have links down below for all this. And I'm going to use an adapter like this. It's a USB to NVMe M.2 adapter. You have to use one that supports NVMe, not a SATA SSD, M.2 SATA drive. So these are a little spendy, but I have a bunch of them laying around the shop. Normally, <clears throat> here at the shop, I would just take the drive out, go over to my cloning station, and clone it over there. And But today, like I said, I'm going to show you how to use the Samsung data migration software. It's pretty simple. And um, once I'm all done cloning, hopefully we get a good clone first time, I'm going to open it up install it and then see what happens so let's get to cloning all right guys i'm set up here i'm gonna got the screen more visible here for you so like i said this is the little adapter that i'm going to use i'm going to pop my new ssd right inside it's just going to plug in pretty straightforward only goes in one way this is a tool list type design this one here there's no screw there's little rubber grommet that the drive just kind of pops over that holds it in place and this particular adapter comes with oops uh, both USB A and USB C cable depending on your situation for ports and I'm going to put the cover back on don't need it so I'm using the C type but here's the A USB C to A and as you can see, I'm using USB-C to C on this one because we got a nice available C port right here. Maybe it'd be a little faster. I'm just going to go ahead and plug the adapter in, straightforward. And I'm going to launch my data migration software right here is the shortcut for it. I'm just going to double click it. I'll have a link down below where you can download the Samsung data migration software as well. So this is pretty straightforward. Here's our, um, our source drive right here. It's got a Western Digital SN530, pretty standard drive in these types of laptops from the factory. Not real high performance, but they're okay. And down here is our target drive. We're gonna click this, and here's our Samsung SSD 980. There's the layout, basically, and all we're gonna do down, do down here is click on the Start button. Now, a couple of things you might wanna do before you start a clone like this, because we're doing it basically within the Windows environment. Uh, turn off power management so it's not going to sleep or anything like that. Uh, don't be connected to the internet. You don't wanna download and try to install Windows updates. Maybe even run a, you know, a check disk, slash F, or even a slash R at the command prompt, just to make sure there's no real weird issues with your Windows. Um, but yeah, just you don't want the computer busy really doing anything else while you're doing the clone. So all I'm going to do is click on the start button here in the lower left hand corner. And it's just letting us know what it's going to do.
All right, guys, I'm back real quick here. It looks like we're rolling along here. We're at 22%. You can see over in the corner there. I keep getting interrupted here, so excuse me. We're just going to let this go. When it's just about done, I'll come back. We'll shut her down and install the new drive. All right, guys, we're right at 99%. It usually hangs here for, seems like eternity, but uh, everyone's different, we'll see. Um, looks like the clone went good. We'll find out once we pop it in the computer. I'm gonna take the five, the, there's two M.2 slots in this model. I'm gonna take the 512 out. I'm gonna zap it over on my other computer just to make it a bare empty drive. Once I know the clone is good, of course, just in case. And so, like I said, he'll end up with about 1.5 terabytes of overall space. These are pretty simple to open up and get into. And I've already removed all the screws in the bottom. But I'll show you all that in just a jiffy here. And this last 1% seems to take forever, but you got to be patient. I like to do these cloning videos. I got a ton of them on my channel, but I'll, for lots of different models, in case you happen to have this model at home, you can say, okay, that's how you do it. And, um, but day to day here in the shop, we just use our cloning station. Can do two and a half inch drives, three and a half inch drives, M.2, SATA, NVMe, whatever, just clone them all day long. Goes really, really fast. This one went pretty quick. I think we're at about 12, 13 minutes. Considering how much stuff he's got on it. <clears throat> I'm just filling dead air here. Sorry about yapping so much. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. Hit that like button. That'd be cool. All right, now it's gonna tell us it's gonna shut down in about 20 seconds here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the shut down now so we can install the new drive. All right, I'm gonna get set up so I can open this up and show you how to get the new drive in there. All right guys, so I got it all shut down. Here's the um, new uh, SSD over here with the heat sink and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and move it from my little trusty, trusty adapter. Set that off to the side. Now, as in all ASUS laptops, they use different size screws. So just try to lay them, lay them out in a pattern where you make sure you get them back in the right holes. These uh, four along the front are really short. These two in the back here in the center, here and here, this one and this one, they're quite long. And these other ones, the corners and the sides in the middle are one length. So you got three different length screws. Just make sure you get them back in the right holes. Um, so these open up pretty easy. I'm just going to use my trusty triangle spudger tool here. I'm going to start it right in the seam, right along the front here. Zoop, right along, right along there. Just going to put it in here. Slide it carefully. And it breaks up away pretty easy. <clears throat> now in any job like this, before you get inside your laptop, make sure you're thoroughly protected against static discharge. My bench tops, my floors, everything in my shop is anti-static. So you should um, just be aware of that. Use a wristband or an ESD wristband or maybe a anti-static mat or both. So And don't touch anything you don't have to once you get inside. Just a safety reminder I like to give everybody. So usually if you just jiggle them up like that, it pretty much comes right off. All right, now we're inside. 
So, here's our current M.2 PCI Express SSD right over here. Here's right here is our empty slot. There's a mounting screw already provided, which is nice. So what I'm going to do now, there's no wrong or right way to do this, but what I like to do is I'm going to remove this drive. I'm not going to do anything with it until I know my clone is good. I'm using a number zero, good magnetic tip screwdriver. And if you want to disconnect the battery, which I will real quick, it's right here. All you got to do is slide this connector right here, just slide it back towards the battery. It comes out fairly simple in case you drop a screw or something. But just, just be very careful. If you're going to go that far, you might as well open it up. And I'm going to hold in the power button a few times here to release any residual juice that's flowing around in there. I'm just hitting the power button. Holding it. <sighs> All right, so we got our battery disconnected just for safety. Um, now this is the drive that I just took out. I'm gonna leave all this heat shielding and whatnot on it. And once all is said and done, I'm gonna just gonna zap it and I'm gonna put it over here in this, in this slot over here. So I'm gonna take my new drive with the copper heat sink and thermal pad on it, carefully install it. Put the mounting screw back in. You see it's pretty straightforward, guys. And just leave it like that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not gonna hook my battery up either. I just wanna make sure we got a good clone. I'm gonna plug in my power cord. I just wanna get it to make sure it's gonna boot up here. Now you could, if everything goes good, you could just zap the drive, you know, right in this original drive using your USB to M.2 adapter, just zap it that way. But I'm gonna, I like to do it over my other computer over there. It's just as quick. It's just the way I do it. Just waiting for this thing to post, hopefully. And we got a post upside down. There we go. If you can see that, but we're in we're in Windows. Let me go ahead and pop in the pin number real quick here. Just to make sure. There we go. We got ourselves a good clone. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. This is kind of an awkward angle here, but you get the point. Shutting down. Could just pull the plug, but we'll do it the right way. All right, it's all shut down. Battery's still disconnected. I'm gonna hit that power button again. All right, and again, just you know, be careful. Don't touch stuff you don't need to. There is no two and a half inch bay in here. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I zap my drive and I'm gonna install it over here. Like I said, right here is the mounting screw for this M.2 slot. Get that out of there. Just gonna leave all this heat protection stuff on there. Ah, hard to hold on to. It's been a busy Monday. They got the speaker wire going right, at, right underneath of it here. You can probably see it here, which make sure it's not being pinched or anything. Very important. Goes in hard. All right.
we got a new one over here, our one terabyte Samsung SSD 980 and the original Western Digital SN 530 over here as a spare, so to speak. Now I'm gonna plug in Mr. Battery here. Hopefully, oh come on, I gotta flip it. All right guys, sorry about that. I was having difficulty getting the battery connector back into the slot. The very, very far pin over here inside the receptacle here was ever so slightly bent over this way just a little bit. I didn't, I didn't want to force it, so if that happens to you, don't, don't force it, you'll bugger up that pin. So I just took my trusty little nylon pencil tool here and I got in there and I just slightly moved the pin back over and it slid right in, so averted a, a disaster there. Sorry it took so long, but anyway, we got our battery reconnected, so we're good. Uh, got both of our SSDs mounted. We're good to go, fans are nice and clean. Not worried about that. So I'm just gonna set this little guy back on here. Make sure everything's where it should be. I never put the screws back in until I know I got everything's good and perfect, so to speak. And don't squeeze real hard on your lid here with your thumbs if you can help it because you can damage the screen from the outside. So just be conscious of that when you're putting it back together. Little things I've learned over the years. Everything's pinched back in. So we got both those drives in there and I'm going to plug in my power cord. Go back into Windows real quick. <clears throat> And I unplugged it so we know our battery's working good. Don't need the cord. Let it boot up and I'm going to initialize that 512 that I zapped. And hopefully we'll be set. But I'll have all the particulars in the description below. Just um, hopefully it'll boot with that drive in there. Yep, there we got a good post. Don't forget to watch more of my cloning videos or other videos in general, that would be great. Give me a sub, give me a like. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Boom. And once you're all done, you can uninstall your data migration software. You won't need that. Of course, it's going to go into, I'm going to plug the cord back in. The screen's going into saver mode. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to right click on the start button. This is Windows 11. He's got his over to the left. Just going to right click on that. And go to disk management right here. Click on that. You know, it's kind of hard to see. And there's our, new, there's our 512 popping up there. I'm going to hit OK. Right here is the 512. Here's our new one terabyte down here. So I'm just going to find my mouse here. I'm going to right click. Go to New Simple Volume. I'm just going to accept all the defaults on this. You can, it'll be drive letter, letter D. You can put a volume label on it if you want. Call it whatever you want. It's going to do a quick format. It should be there. Popped right up. So if I go back to this PC, here's our new one terabyte. This is the uh, 512 over here. Again, you can just right click on this and rename it whatever you want. So we got a good successful clone. Didn't take too long. And got a nice little upgrade. Got lots of extra stories now. That's all I got on this one, guys. I hope it was helpful. Um, check out more of my videos. I appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.